Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. It's well, it's morning here. I do, I do that all the time, don't I? All right. Hey, it's Glenn Tobias from The Return of Man. So look, we're on day 17, I believe, uh, of uh, 45 days to find out your rhythm of leadership, to find your leadership rhythm. And uh, we've discussed all that before. So there'll be a link below if you're new to us and you want to go back and see the beginning video and catch back up through all of them. Lots of lots of info there. But we're going to jump right into it. It's day 17. We are on the E of the acrostic leadership. And uh, that E stands for evaluate. Leaders evaluate. They evaluate progress. They evaluate are we on course. They evaluate, uh, our, you know, is daily process is our standard operating procedure? Um, are all those things working? In order to do that, what do you have to have? You have to have a vision. Uh, you have to have a. You have to have some goals or objectives in place. So, there's nothing to course correct if you don't know what the course is. I heard a very successful business person one time say that um, <clears throat> that too many people aim at nothing and they hit it with amazing accuracy so so there you go if you're if you're aiming at nothing you're gonna hit it every time so you have to have a, a, a plan to be followed to know are we following the plan right I know this sounds stupid but you'd be amazing, you'd be amazed how many people, well you are amazing, oh, you're an amazing person, but you'd be amazed to know how many people live this way. There's no plan of action, there's no course uh, to correct to. There's no vision to be achieved, there's no objective that we can miss or or not miss, it's just, um, you know, it's hit or miss. And so evaluation doesn't come into their playbook. It's not part of the picture because we're not, we have nothing that we can evaluate. All right, didn't mean to overdo that, but I'm not sure that the importance of that point can be overdone. That's, it's just so crucial um, to, to, to be able to really grasp that fact. And, and again, as I've said many times, in many of the other videos, and you will hear me say many times more if you keep listening, um, and do keep listening, by the way. It's a good idea. It'll be good for you. Um, but this applies to a household. This applies to small business, big business, you know, whatever the case. So... Leaders and those who influence, influencers, are constantly evaluating, are we on track? Uh, just because things aren't going tragically doesn't mean that that tragic situation may not be coming or that, you know, are there things we could be doing better? Leaders are aware of their environment. They evaluate their environment. So um, there are instances where a leader of a larger company or organization, um, <clears throat> you know, may say, hey, we are having an impact on the natural environment around us, the trees and the grass and the water and the air, and we need to make adjustments accordingly to be able to love our neighbor as ourselves. Um, and to be good stewards of what's around us. But as I say, the leaders are also aware of the general environment. I'm, I'm in this building. I'm in this situation. I'm outdoors doing such and such. There are these people around me. They just stay environmentally aware. Again, it's a habit to be practiced and a mindset to be developed. So then wrap, <clears throat> wrapping this up then, the, uh, so leaders constantly course correct because they're evaluating, are we on track for the course? 
This is the way that they avoid the unnecessary crisis. Okay. Now, there are crises that are going to come that you can't stop. They're going to come. It doesn't change the definition of them, which I'm about to give you. But some crises you can't help. But so many crises could be avoided by leadership that evaluates, course corrects, monitors, you know, just that idea of evaluating and staying on track with things. And again, I don't care if it's a family, if it's a local charity organization, if it's a small group. You know what? This could apply to a a group of close friends. Be aware. Be outside of yourself. As C.S. Lewis said, I th- that's where I heard it anyway, who, whoever originated the quote, but as C.S. Lewis is famed for saying, don't think less of yourself, just think of yourself less. So you get outside of thinking about your concerns and you monitor other people. And so again, whether it's a small group of friends, whether it's a family, large or small, whether it's a church organization, a, a platoon in the military, um, whatever, the, you know, your your business, your government uh, bureau over which you have some oversight, any number of possibilities, This this these are transcendent principles. They apply in all instances to people who want to achieve a level of leadership. And again, that being influence, so you have an impact on how things go. So the definition of a crisis, we'll wrap up with this because this will help you evaluate to see when this is coming. A crisis is an unfavorable situation or condition in which we find ourselves, which could have been avoided by one or more, one a decision or decisions, one or more decisions. <clears throat> and again, sometimes you didn't have the chance to make that decision, and those are the, those are the crises you, 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 you cannot avoid, the unavoidable, and then you have to deal with them, and we'll get into that later in the 45 days. But, but there are so many crises which could be avoided, and, and those happen because somebody is busy evaluating, and they avoid that unfavorable condition, which could have been avoided by one or more uh, decisions, and which left unchecked will, will derail the possibility of achieving your visions, your goals, your objectives. And all right, and again, I'm gonna I'm gonna beat you over the head with this because I want you to learn it and think about it. You have to have that vision, goal, and objective first to be able to be derailed from it. Okay, but if you're just part of a wandering, aimless group, then you are gonna hit your target, which is nothing. You'll you'll get it over and over again. Okay, hey, this is Glenn Tobias for the Return of Man. Uh, Would you please do me a kindness and go just below this video screen and you will see a chance to subscribe to this channel. I'd also love for you to share this video on your social media or with friends, Twitter it. Is that a verb? Tweet it. Um, Tweet it on Twitter and um, get out there with the president and all the rest of them that are that are tweet happy these days. And uh, so tweet this video. If you would, please, and uh, Facebook it or Gab it. Gab is a great new site, gab.ai. If you want to be out there with people that are all about free speech, that's awesome. Get on Gab. Whichever one you you uh, Instagram, where, wherever you... Do things like this go on Instagram? I don't know Instagram very well. So, so whatever one you use, um, share this on social media. Just waving at a neighbor that's pulling out for work. And uh, then go down and like the video for me. Hit the thumbs up thing. Also, if you want notifications about new videos, I think it's on this side. Where, Whichever side it's on, that's not this side. I don't know. But um, hit the blue bell. Would you do that for me? And I will talk to you hopefully tomorrow. Been a bit busy couple of days and I missed one or two days. But try to be back tomorrow with day 18 and we'll tell you about that then. All right. Have a great day. Bye.